members have realised and we as an association have realised that there are a number of key issues affecting the heart of our industry. We realised that using our support network, our resources and our rich knowledge base that our members possess, we can truly inspire a change within our industry for the better and enable our industry to remain a thriving payments ecosystem. We felt the need to look at the people volunteering on our projects and champion exactly what they've been doing. By doing this video series, we can bring to light the members that we truly call payments heroes. The EPA is an industry organization for payments, which is fairly broad. I'm a fintech guy. There are other companies that are much larger than that, and the EPA is one of the few places that they all get together. What drew me to Project Media is I think the EPA itself has sort of stayed in the background. And uh, with Brexit, with a whole series of regulatory issues, I think there's a larger voice for the EPA because of its sort of broad constituency across larger and small companies. Project Media looked to me as a way to influence that. I think Tony is a really important voice in terms of policy and in terms of payments and where things are going. And he's also remarkably effective at doing that. As well as Project Media has also done a very good job of organizing the marketing officers or messaging officers from a whole series of payment companies to comment on what the EPA should be doing. So I think two things. One is more prominence for Tony and two, um, getting some consensus around the payment companies about what's important. So uh, in terms of what value uh, Project Media has added to the WIRDA community, I think it's raised the profile of the EPA, um, both with first within its members, um, secondly within uh, the payments industry or the financial technology industry in general, and then thirdly in the broader community. Uh, it comes through exposure in the business press, it comes through taking positions um, relative to Brexit or relative to market access that the EPA has done, and uh, so I think the major, the major impact is on uh, raising the profile of the EPA. In terms of what I think you can look forward to coming from Project Media, is we have a plan to get to our membership uh, commenting more consistently and to be out in front of what the news is. So it's a, a plan to have really an index and a conversation with uh, members so that we actually lead the conversation and become a source for the members of what's going on in the payments industry. So it's really a way to bring together information about payments and through that to create a dialogue that then allows the EPA to be, have sort of a leadership position when it comes to what's, what's actually being talked about. So I come from the fintech world um, where it's a lot of small companies and people are like everywhere uh, pressed for time. So it, the first thing is to make a time commitment to the EPA itself. That's incredibly important to participate in the industry. The industry needs to have a voice. What I would say to someone um, who first made that commitment, the next stage is then, well, what else can you contribute? So there's projects on media, there's projects on diversity, uh, projects on Brexit, um, projects on financial inclusion. So a whole series of things that really go beyond just commenting on government policy and being a, a group that talks about the industry and industry trends, but actually taking action. So what I would say to someone is if you're interested in making an impact on where uh, payments uh, in the UK or in Europe is going, first join the EPA and then secondly try to be involved in the project. We've seen already that they've been able to tap into the heart of central government. They've had the endorsement of ministers. They've been able to engage with embassies all across the globe. They've been able to tap into the insight of the regulator and get the regulator to be incorporated into our community.